As you know, I am really passionate about helping entrepreneurs get started in carbon removal. I get to see a lot of companies come through air miners, people form teams, get started. I also got to review a ton of carbon removal companies uh, when I was helping out the Altmans with their Apollo projects to invest uh, money into early stage carbon removal companies. So through those experiences, I've talked to entrepreneurs, funders, accelerators, and I've seen a couple problems that come up again and again and again. And I don't have the solutions, but I want to get your help. Uh, maybe you've seen somebody who's figured out how to solve it, or maybe you're struggling with this yourself. Uh, but just to surface these problems and hear what you think. Here's the three things, kind of in the order I see them show up for companies. The first is feeling like you have to go alone. The second is figuring out how to tell the big picture story to investors. And then the third is simplifying that story for potential customers or potential partners. If you're seeing these, you're not alone. I wanna help you figure out how to solve it. Uh, and this is kind of me doing recon to find out how do other people solve these problems. And if this is a problem that you've seen before, or you've struggled with, what do you wish you knew when you were starting at the beginning of it? So here's three things that I see come up with founders working in carbon removal. So the first one, feeling like you have to go it alone. I see this so much in founders. You know, when you're just working by yourself, you just, you probably have a piece of the solution. You have a piece of the puzzle, but you don't have the whole thing. And it's a leap when I'm, when I'm meeting people sometimes to think, okay, this person has this, but if they also had this and this and this, wow, they're really onto something. And I think we can all fall for it. And I know that it's hard to, to be in that position just where you have a piece of it, a piece of a very, very important puzzle but you don't yet have the whole thing. I'm curious how other people solve this in terms of finding a team or mentors or advisors, but what I've seen is it's something that seems to take a while. It can take six months to a year where I see people kind of a, having a piece of it, but looking for other people to compliment them or really trying to think that the piece that they have has to be the whole picture or has to be the whole story. And usually it doesn't because when you start to see things take off, it's when you start connecting with other people who have other parts of what you're building or what you're helping create. So next is being able to talk about the big picture to somebody like a potential investor. And to me, what this usually sounds like when I'm in a pitch or reading through a pitch deck or something like that is teams seem to usually get one part of it right. They're either, hey, we've got like the molecule or we've got the device or the design, or at least kind of that's what we have, but we're when you think about the scale of it, how big could this get, or how does this make sense economically, they're really weak there. Or the flip side is, you get the people that are really strong on like the big picture, and we just need 500 million of these machines, but then like, oh wait, how do they work? And it's, it's they don't really have that part fleshed out. Uh, and I think some of this can come down to, well, you actually need to, to build that and solve for that, right? If you don't have the, the technical solution for it, well, you better, go figure out how you're gonna do that. But I think a lot of it, after talking and spending more time with teams, they often do have this better balance, but they have a tough time talking about it. They're usually either stronger, far stronger at talking about the kind of the science or the technology aspect of it, or the economic one. And to me, and the gap that I've seen is that they need to balance it out in order to be able to get an investor or somebody else who cares about your big picture. If you're thinking about uh, potential co-founder or early hire, I mean, they're as much investors as somebody who's writing a check uh, to your company. So then the last one is, how do you simplify this as you start talking to customers, right? You've gone and painted this big picture, your investors and your team bought in, but the reality is your customer doesn't really care about that. Like they care about pieces of it, but how do you simplify that to be something that a potential customer or a potential kind of corporate partner type person can sign on and say, yes, this is something that my business needs. This is where I've seen a lot of teams get stuck. They either have like a, a powder or a gel or a process or a liquid or some, a credit, some sort of thing they're trying to sell. And it can, at that point, kind of come across as a solution in search of a problem. Uh, that was something we came across with the XPRIZE product showcase uh, that we did, I guess it was about a year and a half ago now, but it was taking a lot of those raw materials from companies and figuring out how do we tell this bigger industrial story about making consumer products like yoga mats and bathroom tiles to complement all the stuff about uh, fuels and building materials. So those are three of the problems that I see 
founders hitting all the time. Uh, if you're facing these, I'd love to hear about what you're doing to, to overcome it. If you've heard of these before and you've, you've struggled with them yourself and you finally figured something out, I'd love to hear what you finally found worked. Ultimately, I'd love to get to a point where we don't see so many people getting stuck and derailed uh, with some of these problems and give entrepreneurs a shortcut so they can deal with the next challenge instead.